communicated their politics. So they were communicating their politics to a broad spectrum of women. And those politics began to inspire a new generation. These are the women who fought in 1916. This is a picture that was taken. They were released from jail after being imprisoned after the 1916 rising. I went to the state house and took the letter to Mzekarume. He broke the seal and uh, read inside it was the same thing that he wanted. So he just lit it up and put the ashes in the toilet and flushed it. We were not even allowed to read the news because they said our voices are too sweet and so you cannot have that kind of a voice for news because news is a very serious thing. So it's only the men who can do that. If the women read the news, it means we are going to get people to sleep. The role of these women who, who fought alongside the men uh, for independence, these women were not highlighted. I mean, they were not acknowledged. For example, my aunt, she was one of these women who was very active behind the scenes, mobilizing for, for Tanu, and she was passionate about it. So she spent a lot of time outside her family. Her marriage was broken, but she never got the recognition for the work that she did. So, so it, it wasn't easy from a cultural perspective. Vijana waliokuwa hapa leo wamehamasika sana kuna mambo mengi sana wamejifunza hapa kuhusu historia ya nchi yao what i've taken away from here is that as a woman i have to struggle to get to where i am today what i found what i take away from this event is how similar in some ways the stories of women who participate in liberation or revolutionary movements is what they contribute but also what happens afterwards and the invisibility of women's contribution in the historical record and how women are not acknowledged and how we have to fight for that and often after a revolution comes the fight for women's rights it is never oftentimes part of it even though it's supposed to be I learned that it just takes one step to change a lot, to change the, not just your community, but the history of a country. I learned that there's a lot of bravery and stepping out that's needed um, for us to be able to take part um, and, and be of uh, significance to our societies and our communities. The main thing that I took from it actually was that there is a, a wealth of, of history in Tanzania around the kinds of struggles that women have had across the board in, in culture, in politics, in the media, uh, in, in their professional careers, uh, even in their personal lives, that actually hasn't been captured and that really needs to be part of the story that women tell about their lives in, in, in the past. Without history, I would understand nothing. Historia siku zote ni kwa ya reje. I want to see people actually taking their phone out and actually putting their thoughts and putting their memories into their phones so that in the future, future generations will be able to use that and mine that and write the history of, of women in Tanzania. With so many advantages, they have education, they have equality to a degree. When I was able to contribute more naona wanashindwa kujua kwamba hata wao lazima wapambane pia kufika mahali ambapo wanataka ninashukuru sana Irish embassy kwa kuandaa kitu kama hiki natumai haya mambo yataendelea itakuwa leo ndio mwisho